Today we're going to look at this ceiling fan and light dimmer switch from Treat Life. This nifty little switch can control the speed of your ceiling fan and the brightness of the fan light. All in one switch. If you've got a ceiling fan in your house with pull chains, this is perfect for your application if you want to automate that. If you're on a budget but you're looking to automate your home, these are the switches for you. Treat Life has a bunch of different types of switches, all for a decent price and they work really well with Google Home and Alexa. I have a total of 16 of these. One of the things I love about these switches is the attention to detail. They really feel nice, like they're well thought out. The buttons are pretty clicky and maybe feel a little flimsy, but still pretty nice. Hardware wise, I've seen complaints that the holes don't line up for switch plates, but I really never noticed any of those issues. I've also seen people saying that only the fan works with Alexa, but I have both the fan and the light working. I'm definitely not a certified electrician, but I'll try to go over the wiring, at least how I did it later. One thing I really love about this switch is that it's technically two switches in one, so you can actually end up replacing two wall switches if you have two separate switches for your fan and light. At first glance, it may look like there's a lot of wires coming out of the back of this thing, but don't worry, they're all neatly labeled, and they even come with little sticky labels you can put on the wires that are in your switch box. I'll quickly try to explain how the wiring works. You have five wires coming out of the switch. You have the neutral, white. You have the line, black. You have the lighting load, red. You have the fan load, which is yellow. And then you have the green one, which is the ground. Make sure you have a neutral in your box because this switch needs continuous power. Then in the base of your fan, there typically is a black, which is for the fan. A blue, which is for the lights. A white, which is for neutral, and then the green, which is for ground. So if your fan is set up like mine was, which is typical for pole chain fans, there's only two conductors going to the fan, one for powering both the lights and fan, and one neutral. If you want to do this switch, you're going to need to have three conductors going there, one separate one for the lights, and then one for the fan, and then the neutral. You may need to run some three conductor wire. Once I did that, I was able to wire it as I've shown here. So once you connect it all up and turn the power on, the last thing left to do is to connect it to the Smart Life app, which uh, they give you instructions on how to do. And then you want to connect that to Google Home or Alexa. I'm not going to go over how to do that here, but it's very simple. One thing people may be wondering about is how it shows up in Google Home, for example. It actually shows up as two separate devices. It shows up as a light and it shows up as a fan. Uh, the fan comes with the proper name as how you named it from the Smart Life app, but the light is just called light. So you have to rename it and then put them both in the room of your choice. When either the fan or the light are on by themselves, the plus and minus buttons are used to adjust either the speed of the fan or the brightness of the light. While the light has 14 settings for different brightness levels, the fan has 4 settings for different speeds. Since this smart switch is essentially two switches combined, a fan and a light, and each one has adjustment capabilities with the plus and minus buttons, there has to be a way to select which one you're adjusting if they're both on. In this case, you double tap the button for the device you want to adjust, and then use the plus or minus buttons to adjust it. As a quick side note, before you install your switch, set your fan speed to the highest setting by pulling the chain. That way when you're using the switch, you'll be able to use the full range of speeds that your fan offers. This is just a quick demo of how that Smart Life app works. Sorry for the shaky camera. Turn on the kitchen fan light. Okay, turning kitchen fan light on. Hey, Google, turn on the kitchen fan. Got it, turning on kitchen fan. All right, guys, well, that's really all I had for you today. If there's anything I didn't cover that you want to know about or any other questions you have, 
please leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. If you like this video, please check out my last video where I reviewed the Treat Life Smart Dimmer Switch for lights only. There's more videos coming, so if you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.